Okay guys, welcome to a one versus one on the uh, Chocogu River, I think that's what it's called, something like that. And today I'm having another match against Edgy, or Edge, uh, as she says that's her, how her name's supposed to be said. Anyway, let's take a look at my man, I'm Deadly Redcoat, so as usual I've got a shed load of uh, white tigers. So white tigers, white tigers, imperial infantry, and over here I got more white tigers, more white tigers than imperials, more white tigers, more white tigers, and then I've got royal marines on this uh, left flank. I thought this left flank is going to be the hardest fight because it, we could both get to this sort of like section of the map at the same time. And then I've got my Armstrong guns. The reason why I put these here is because uh, then I don't have like the trees obstructing my view or a hill over here obstructing my view. It was either going to be on that side or it was going to be like I think my end of my deployment was here. That's why those units are bunched. But it's either going to be down that side or here. So I decided to go down the left, put it down here so I could see all that zone over there. Other units I've got is uh, one which I've never used, Kyoto Police, and I think that they did all right in this fight. Uh, I've got two units of sharpshooters, which are together. I've got one unit spear levy, uh, two units of Yari Kai. I feel like I didn't have enough cavalry on this fight, but whatever. And then my general's bodyguard. Where is he? There he is, that one. Okay, in Ireland, let's look at the uh, dreaded army, that is, that of Edges. So, she's gone with a more... She said she didn't like her army in this fight. But at the end of the day, you knew what you were getting into. <laughs> I was there for I was there for the win, so... Uh, she has a dreaded third Lancers. Dreaded fifth, uh, first Lancers as well, which are like even more upgraded. These are Yari Kai units, Yari Ki, whatever. Uh, she's got some spear levy here, uh, bow catchy, which is like bow samurai if you played the old ones. Uh, Shogun infantry, core five. These are the ones which I mentioned in the uh, last video, two v two. Core one, Shogun infantry as well. Uh, General's bodyguard, Arashi, that one there in the green. Uh, what's over here? Second Lancers. This one's Seventh Lancers. She uses a lot of cavalry and it's all upgraded as well. And it all kicks ass when it's like used in the right way, as you'll see shortly. She's got some Spear Levy here, uh, followed up by some uh, Katana Kachi, which is uh, called Katana Steel. Uh, over here she has Kamikaze Blades, which are. Uh, Sugar tie guys, these ones in the white. And then over here she has uh, the French garlic gadjin. <laughs> so I just find that name funny. I hate the French, so there we go. French unit for me to kill there. And uh, yeah, that's her army. So this is going to be another difficult fight. Like every single fight I have for this girl, it's like, you know, very hard to um, maintain my concentration. There's always so much stuff going on. But I forgot to move my Kyoto police, for example. Alright, so originally I was going to go like this. And then I see that I'm not going to make that, and she's got a load of melee infantry, so I decide to uh, adjust my line to uh, these locations so I can take advantage of this uh, open ground there so when she does come with all that melee infantry it's gonna have to run across here and get shot to pieces alright so my artillery is opened up on these uh, cavalry units over I forget I forget about this uh, spear levy over here and they kept running for a while but I'll, I'll sort that out I've got my sharpshooters behind my infantry on the hill so they'll have range when uh, the other people come in so Basically, the, whoever comes this way is going to take a volley of fire from my line, and then a volley of fire from my uh, sharpshooters, and then they're going to have to get deal with my spear levy, and probably cavalry after that if all else fails. Let's look at what she's doing. 
she's coming and taking these hills. Which is a good tactic. The hills and the forested areas. Forested area provides cover. Hill gives you the downhill advantage. Alright, so I'm going to rush to get my uh, units sorted out now. I don't want the hills. I want to go past the hills. I want to... I'll, I'll be kind of half in the hill over here. But I mean, that's not where I want to stay. Usually people want to keep these hills. As you can see, I'm adjusting my left flank. Because I know over here I've got a few more extra men that I, I wouldn't otherwise need. So what I can do is start going around these hills and give her no room to uh, maneuver on these. So she's moving her cavalry over to uh, this left flank. She's really good at the outflanking maneuvers. As you can see on the map, on the top right, I've gone for a more line of a line position. She's gone for like two strong points and she's gone to hidden uh, to hide her units to mask her intentions of what she's doing which is fine so my artillery is like just keeping up the fire on these units in here we've had some uh, good hits already as you can see and even if I miss there's other units hidden in here which I can still hit so oh yeah here's where she pulled forward to Bokachi I saw this straight away so I was like right running my unit forwards and then I was thinking right what am I gonna do then when she's pulled away I was thinking I'd have to pull my units back and I was thinking no forget that I'm gonna start my attack so that was it as soon as like she'd uh, done that first attack that was it I'm coming in technically I made the first attack on my artillery but she made the first she pressured me into making my attack I realized my Royal Marines on this left flank were tired I wanted to fix them up a bit but I was all up for it. Now I'm taking some casualties over here from this highly upgraded uh, French unit. So I've gone for like a surrounding maneuver on the hill. You see me on so many videos surround people. She's using the wet tissue tactic here as well. Throwing in some spear level. Or meat shields or whatever. Yeah I used the uh, suppressive fire from this unit and I ended up hitting two of my own units as well. So I end up routing my own uh, white tigers, or at least helping to round. Alright, so over here I'm throwing in my uh, spear levy to uh, try and take the fire off this garlic unit. Whilst my uh, snipers and these uh, two lines try and deal with it with the guns. So now I'm rushing my Kyoto police towards where these third lances are that were uh, attacking my Royal Marines. And I felt pretty comfortable at this stage, like I was going to win. I could see her units were uh, starting to route over here. I was happy with that. And over here, my spear levy routes. These two line units here, these were not shooting at all. Oh, here we go. Now they're going to try it. This middle one especially. I was clicking for it to shoot for ages. Do they have line of sight? Well, I guess they don't have great line of sight, but I'd wish they'd have shot so they could get them extra casualties on that unit. The damned enemy is damned damned All right, I pull back this spear levy, and I'm going to pull it over here to assist against all this cavalry. And I'm sending up this white tiger force up the hill to uh, get some point blank shots on these guys. And I realized she didn't notice this at first, because she got a spear levy right here that otherwise wouldn't charge me. Here's where we start doing good on each other's flanks. She's going to charge my flanks down here. And over here I've charged up onto her hill with my uh, Kyoto police and I've routed these units up here. I'm um, shooting her cavalry off of my uh, Royal Marines. So I managed to route this left flank of hers. And at the same time I looked over here and she's routing my flank. That's why I'm saying with her, you can never know how, how well you're doing until you've given it your all. She's doing exactly the same as me, just in a different different tactics. I mean, her tactics are good, especially when this happens. Your men are routing, sir. So I'm over here shooting shooting these guys in these flanks with the suppressive fire, and I've got this unit over here. And then over there, when I was down here, I looked over there and I was like, oh my god, my whole army is just gone. 
And I've got these few units over here, they're all depleted as well. And then this unit here that's just worried for no reason. So I see that all my units are routing and I was really worried about that. And my Yari Kai comes back. And then this unit over here comes back. So I start getting some units back. So I'm thinking, right, I'm going to use you straight away. Now she's coming, throwing everything at me, giving it, giving it her all. Trying to keep this route going. And she's succeeding in some places. And to be honest, at this stage, I was thinking, right, I'm in some major trouble right now. I start targeting her, her uh, cavalry with my uh, artillery, realizing that that's what's doing all the damage. And over here, I have these units, and they stop. They stop routing, thank God. And they come back. So I'm going to bring these straight back into the fight as quick as I can. Managed to route her unit on the hill. That French unit. And over in the tree, she actually caught up with my general. Uh, I, s I sacrificed my Royal Marines in there to hold back these uh, units over. I started using my general as bait to try and pull pull her uh, units over this Damn, direction whilst I can basically sort running, out my sir. units that are over here. I wanted to sort out a line so that I have a base of fire to put on these people again. So I realized that by pulling my general out this way, I can uh, pull him towards this Kyoto police and any cavalry chasing him would have to go through them. And I had this Imperial Infantry Moving unit forward, here as well. So, I had some support over here. Also, I had this big unit over here that rioted and it's coming back. I used my rally ability here as well. Oh no, I didn't. I used it a minute ago somewhere. That was my... Oh, she used her rally ability, that's all. So she's rallied all of her men. But now the problem which she's going to have is she's starting to run back away from all of my units. And another thing, she's exhausted on most of us. They're very tired, very tired. And I'm going to keep up the attack. I'm going to charge in with these Kyoto police into her general if I can make it. I just want to cause as much mayhem as I can. We actually did make contact and kill a horse. At this stage my artillery was out of out of uh, shells, so now all I can do is comfortably move on this uh, hill with uh, what's left of my infantry. So I mean like for a fight though, this has been up and down, up and down, up and down. They are truly like a very good match when it comes to battles. I wasn't. This is me playing at my best as well. I mean, like I'm, I'm doing everything I can to like win this. Cause if I win this, then it's two one to me. <laughs> I said to her, as soon as I clicked, I asked her for that one versus one. I was saying I already regret asking you, <laughs> because if I lose this, then I wouldn't have been happy. So I, what I assume she's doing up here is uh, trying to hide her people to. Um, get their uh, fatigue level sorted out because they are pretty tired right now and for me that was perfect because I can just walk my units up that way if she's doing it like that I can just walk my units closer and I can start surrounding them so if you can see me making little movements around the uh, hillside I start moving this unit in to try and keep her from being able to rest there as well come on tigers Now, like everything in her army is going on the Victory charge, is assured, but sir. they have no energy left. At least her general lived and my general lived this fight. Means I'll probably fight her again. So that was a costly victory. So let's take a look at the uh, results on that. I mean, Christ, when I seen that whole right side of my army disappear, I was thinking that's that's most likely it. The thing which she didn't do was chase those units down with cavalry. 
I would have been straight on it with Kamakad if I was there. That way it would have stopped her from uh, coming back, meaning she would have secured a win. But at the same time, she did have a lot to deal with. Like she, most of her units were melee units. She had to protect those whilst I was uh, fighting with my uh, line infantry. Yeah, she even still killed more than me. But I had more guys than she did. But she killed more than mine. I shot some of my own guys, look. It's 1747. She killed 1712. Royal Marines, they did well. Imperial Infantry 275. 303, that Revolver Cavalry. Yeah, her cavalry has always been lethal in my last few games with her. But now that leaves the tally at 2-1 to me. So yeah, you might have killed more, but most of the time I do like uh, tactical losses where I'll just... Like these white tigers, for example. I bet they took some losses. Yeah, look. <laughs> they probably took the worst losses out of all of them. And they got it. Hey, my Armstrong guns didn't take a casual either. That's good. Spear levies, I, I knew that they would take a lot of losses. There was less than 40 of them left. Kyoto police did pretty well. They killed more than they lost. Things that I was trying to keep alive were my Royal Marines. And I didn't even have a full unit of those either. I only had 169. So they were a bit depleted when I started the fight. But we pulled it off. So anyway, good game, uh, Edge. I do consider you my equal on every level, even though I won that. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Another difficult fight over.